Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to explain how to apply conditional formatting to entire rows based on a cell's value. So this was a great question raised by Donna in one of our Excel Campus training courses. And in this scenario here, we have a table of data. And as you can see, all of the rows that have the month two or the value of two in them are highlighted yellow. And, that, and when we change that value, so maybe we change the value here to six, then the uh, rows that contain a six will be highlighted and the entire rows are highlighted here. So let's take a look at how to set this up. I'll go jump over to the example sheet here and I'll make this file available for free download and put a link to this in the description below this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is select cell E6 here. This is the first row in our table. Then we're going to go to the home tab and over to the conditional formatting dropdown and we're going to choose manage rules. I'll bring up the conditional formatting rules manager. I'm going to click new rule. And then down here for the rule type, we're going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. So here's where we can enter our formula. And as you can see here, we're, it's going to format values where this formula is true, where the formula returns a true. And all we need for our formula is actually a very simple formula. You might think you need to use like an if function here or something like that but really we can just use the basic logic uh, in Excel. And so what I mean by that is I'm gonna type the equal sign. Then we're going to select this cell here that contains the value that we want to apply the conditional formatting by. So the one that contains the two. And then here in our formula, we're going to type another equals. And then we're just going to select this cell right here, the first cell in the data set, which is E6. So now we have this formula that says equals E3 equals E6. And if these two values are the same, then this is going to return a true. And you can also test this out in a cell within Excel. Just type this formula in there and you'll see that this returns a true if the values are uh, the same. If they're not the same, it's going to return a false. Now, one thing we need to do here, because we wanna apply this to multiple rows, all the rows in our table, is we need to change the absolute relative referencing. So I'm going to hit F4 on the keyboard two times. That's going to put the dollar symbol in front of the column letter, and then the row number will be relative. So we have an absolute on the column letter. We will always evaluate against column E. Uh, cell E3 is anchored, so that will be an absolute reference, and we'll always evaluate that against column uh, E. However, the row number will change. Since it's now relative, it will change. And I'll explain more about that after we apply the formatting. So let's go ahead and apply the format. We're going to click the uh, format button. And here for the fill color, let's just make this a uh, green color this time. We'll go over to font. Uh, for the font color, we'll make this a darker green. So something a little different. Hit OK. And this is what it'll look like uh, when the conditional formatting is true, when this formula is true. So we'll go ahead and hit OK here. We can see our rule right here, and we can go ahead and click Apply. And that will just apply uh, that conditional format to this cell only. So we can see that it's working, but we wanna apply it to the entire row and the entire table. So in order to do that, all we need to do is change this Applies to Section, because currently this range reference is just cell E6. So we can click this button here and then go select all the cells in our data set or in our table. So of course you just select the first cell. Uh, you can use keyboard shortcuts for this. Control Shift End will work. If you're using an Excel table like I am, you can hit Control A to select all the cells in the table. Or of course you can use the mouse to select this range. But you can see the range now is B6 to G1002. So all of the cells in the table. And then from here, we can go ahead and, and hit apply again. And now we can see that all of these rows where uh, there's a two in column E are now highlighted. So the conditional formatting is being applied to the entire row. And the thing that makes this confusing is that when we look at the formula here, we see, we see that we have equals E3 to E6 only. But what's actually happening is that the conditional formatting is evaluating against each cell or each row in this range over here. So it's important that they both start in the same row. We have the starting applies to range starts in row six. We see B6 here. 
And same with this reference to this cell right here is also row six. So those both need to uh, start in row six. And then what happens in the background is the conditional formatting is applied is this number is going to change for every single row. So this will actually be E3 equals E7, E3 equals E8 for every single row in our table uh, once it's applied and it does that evaluation on every single row. So I'll go ahead and hit OK here. Of course, I'm going to hit Control Home just to jump back up to the top. It's always good to check and test to make sure this is working. So I'm just going to change the value in this cell, change it to 6. We can see that all the uh, rows that contain a 6 in column E are now being highlighted. And we can also use other types of comparison operators for those logical tests. So what I mean by that is we'll jump back over to the Conditional Formatting Manager, go into Manage Rules. And then you'll notice here that you don't see the uh, conditional format or the rule down here. That's because we're only showing rules for the current selection, which is outside of that range. So here we can change this uh, to this worksheet uh, or this table. And now we will see our rule. We can go back, uh, we can select the rule and then edit it. And here in our formula, instead of saying equals, we could also put a, a less than or equals here, or less than or greater than or greater than and equals. And in this case here, if we go ahead and hit OK, and we'll hit apply, now we're going to see every row be highlighted where this number in the row is greater than or equal to the month selected in cell E3. If you wanted to do that where they were not equal, go edit the rule. You can use the not operator for that, which is less than, greater than, just like that. Hit OK, uh, hit apply, and then we will have all the rows highlighted that are not equal to 6, or whatever the selected value is in this cell. Go ahead and hit OK here. And of course, you can use other values, data types besides numbers. You could use dates or text uh, for these different evaluations. The point there is that the formula that you use in the conditional formatting rule just needs to return a true or a false. And it's easier to understand those logical statements if you type a formula in a cell. So here we can just say equals E3 equals uh, E6 and hit enter. That will return a false because uh, those two values are not equal. If we were to go change this value to a2, uh, those would be equal, and now this returns a true. So those logical statements are going to return a true or false back to the conditional format, and then the conditional formatting will be applied. I have a separate article that explains those logical statements and the if function as well. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. And conditional formatting is a great feature of Excel that can help bring your spreadsheets to life and make them interactive. And we cover this topic in a lot more detail inside our Elevate Excel training program. We have a whole series of videos dedicated to different techniques with conditional formatting. We'd love to have you join us there. So I hope this was helpful. Of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below the video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.